Hey guys, I guess the word's out now. So we picked up this boat, and yes, we paid a dollar for it. And uh, friends of ours talked to us and says, hey, we got a project for you. And I've been flipping houses, and uh, I do a lot of real estate. Um, boats, not exactly my forte, but we like a challenge. And uh, so we took a look at this boat, and we ended up purchasing it for, like I said, a dollar. It is in pretty bad shape, uh, as you can see from the videos. The engines were totally destroyed, as you can see. But uh, check out this video and see what you think and see if we can get a run it. Buy some worthless old boat and fix it up new. Hey guys, so this is our 1978 Carver 33 Mariner that we just purchased. I should say, uh, we inherited it and because there's quite a bit of work that needs to be done so right now we're in the process of removing the hull paint and uh, you can see pretty obviously where the water line was so we're just using a uh, power washer 3000 psi power washer I've got a portable uh, tank water tank so we're just power washing and of course you can see right where the water line is because below the water line it's just coming off really easy but it's pretty thick, pretty heavy above the water line, so it's not coming off as easy. Uh, probably won't. I'll probably have to sand that off. But um, there's a couple things that we've got to take care of. Looks like there was some fiberglass work done here at the bottom, and it hasn't been uh, bearinged out, so it's not smooth. So that needs to be taken care of. There's a couple nicks couple couple little bit of holes but uh, for the most part it is not bad so because it's 1978 it's got a lot of teak wood so uh, you probably can't tell but on the windows there's teak wood there there that carver is all teak wood and then up above by the captain uh, that is all teak wood up there so we have to refinish that and then uh, you can see the teak wood up here and then there's a rail that goes all the way around it's all teak wood and I'm not sure what these are called uh, there's a wooden piece of teak wood right here that uh, needs to be refinished as well so we're gonna take a quick tour and take a look inside so it's up on blocks in the marina. Here's a view of the back. It's an inboard motor. So it's got two props that counter rotate underneath, port and starboard. And that power wash this back here looks like there was some uh, some damage back here, some repair work that they did, which actually caused this support to be lower than the other ones. So there is a little bit, you probably can't see it on the camera, but there's a little bit of a bow here uh, that I need to try to see if I can fix. Probably just by extending that rod a little longer using the same holes. So to get on, we gotta use a, uh, gotta use a ladder to get up on the, I think they call this a ski platform. Not sure, but uh, I took all the teak wood off here. You can see there's teak wood and the rail. And uh, I took this piece off here to try to refinish it. It came out pretty good. And then the same thing here. There's a piece here. We're gonna take this off. Um, this whole back door is all teak wood. So that needs to be completely redone. Here's the captain's area where they pilot the boat. Uh, these cushions actually lay down into this bed configuration or they set up into a couch. And then uh, the original design in the 78 Carver, instead of an air conditioning unit, this was a stairwell to go downstairs. 
so a previous owner had put the air conditioning unit in here and uh, put a table on top of it um, which works so you can see all the teak wood that's up here that we are going to have to work with and then uh, I'm gonna have to get a new captain's chair this one's vinyl on this one's pretty shot and the uh, little console two engines it's got two Chevy V8 small blocks 350s uh, and I believe it's the uh, Crusader or Cruiser Crusader Crusader 270s so you got port and starboard down there this lifts up which uh, nice head uh, so you don't bang your head when you go into the cabin that's nice we got the beanie top on right now so let it air out it's got another blue cover that goes on it as well that is actually getting repaired right now so another piece of teak wood that needs to be removed and finished and these little strips we're going to take off again this railing we're going to pull this railing off take that off there's a little teak wood here those windows will need to be redone and then there's that uh, strip uh, right above the carver sign so coming into the cabin again uh, this thing lifts up which is nice so you don't hit your head it's got a nice grip here steps come down to the main room there's a, a couch that folds down into a bed which is nice uh, the benches, we have benches that go around this. We've got them in getting repaired, putting new uh, vinyl on them. Table. Kitchen, the galley, I guess. Double sink, old for a mica countertop that we'll probably replace. Uh, old stove with an oven. We'll end up replacing that. An old uh, refrigerator. Probably replace that as well microwave up top and then there's that air conditioning unit so again there used to be a ladder here in the original design you can see there's a uh, spots where the ladder used to clamp on this little door here is just a little storage cubby and then on the other side of that in this door is the bathroom the head Toilet, sink, shower, it's not much of a shower but it's enough. And then, uh, oh yeah, the head's got double doors, another set of doors goes into the master bedroom I guess so this would normally have a mattress on it but we've got it open to look at the uh, look at any water damage you can see you can see the water damage and all the wood here that we're going to have to replace so these windows have leaked over the years so we're gonna to have to replace those and dresser and then there's a closet in here and again you can see water damage that all needs to be ripped out so we can mitigate any mold and then again the door from the bedroom coming back into the kitchen I think I'm going to remove this. Don't really need the storage, and uh, it's just kind of I want more headroom. It's kind of in the way, so I kind of want to open it up in here. Um, don't really. We got enough storage kind of underneath, and um, it just is kind of in the way. 
whiten and brighten and open up, right? Oh, look at that. It's double-sided. That's kind of cool. Double-sided. We'll see. Lights, we'll swap them out for some LED lights. There's the ladder for uh, off of the uh, the end of the boat. These steps you can remove so you can get access to the engines. And we'll take a look at the engines in a little bit. Probably in another video. So that's it. That's what we had to work with. And uh, stay tuned. It's going to be a multi-part series. We're going to go through the bottom paint. We're going to go through the engine. We're going to go through launching the boat and uh, future things that we need to do to uh, make this thing a weekend cruiser. So I will see you soon. Bye-bye for now.